Alright, full night's sleep, didn't wake up scared or nothing. Alright, let's just do an inventory check here. We have a first aid kit. Uh, let's put it on the ground, see what we got inside. Oh, I have quite a few adhesive bandages. Alcohol wipes. I don't have any of those good. Okay. Bottle of disinfectant. I have two of them now. Uh, a bandage. Let's disinfect our bandages. Can I disinfect these rags? Uh, you know what? We'll hold off on that. I might just stash the rip sheets in this first aid kit. And then uh, we'll ditch the bottle of disinfectants because we have alcohol wipes. I have a suture needle and a suture needle holder. Okay, so we're pretty good. I like having my, even though my first aid's kind of scattered around in my backpack, you can access it quickly in the health menu if, if you get, whereas if you have a first aid kit just stashed in your bag, you have to actually pull the first aid kit out, pull the secondary, and then, and then access it. It takes up too much time, especially when you have to get access to your first aid right away. So, okay, we're kind of running low on food. Let's ditch anything I don't really need. Garbage bag. A couple of magazines, we'll get rid of those. I have two threads, really don't need two. Maybe the vitamins as well. Stash some food in here. Oh, I got four lighters. We'll just carry one, not that we really need it, but you never know. I'm gonna have to organize this eventually. Yeah, the orange soda. I got a ham, I got some chips. I got my shotgun, some first aid. We will top our water up, okay. So, I need more food, so we're going to have to cross the bridge and go into the city and get more. Because I have a ham and some chips. So that's the plan for today. Cross the bridge, fight, maybe kill off the zombies on the bridge. And then see if we can find some food, because we're going to run out. I'm not really too sure where else to find some around here, on this side of the river anyways. I mean, we could go towards the, the shipping yard and we could probably find some food there, but... I think our best bet is just to go across the bridge. I wouldn't mind cleaning the bridge up anyways and then having at least an act, like a way to get across the city easily without having to worry about zombies. And yeah, I definitely want to be able to drive a, a, a car across, across the bridge. And we do have that shotgun too, so we could use up some of the rounds on the bridge. Oh, I thought I heard somebody. Oh yeah, there's a crawler right over here. You know what? Let's just deal with them. I can hear somebody. Oh, he's <laughs> stuck behind here. Oh, there's a guy right there too. Come out quick. Is this guy gonna come out? <laughs> I could kind of hit him through here. A hand axe. You know what? Let's take it. Might need some weapons. Another hand axe. Oh, sweet. Well, we'll leave it for now. We have a sledgehammer back here. There's some good stuff over here. 12 gauge shotgun shells, might as well take them. But I kind of want to keep my focus on finding food. I don't want to weigh my backpack down with stuff I don't need right now. Yeah, let's actually take a quick peek at my machete. It's kind of half condition. A canned tomato, let's take it. I don't have a can opener. Okay, let's get the... Let's get the shotgun out. And I'll need some shells. Go. Keep an eye on my ammo count. We got 20 rounds left. It's not too bad. More rubber shells. Ok, 
Good times. What would we got? A SWAT gas mask. We will put that on. And more shells. I'm loving it. Now we got 56 rounds. Oh yeah. We look super badass with that uh, gas mask on. SWAT knee pads. Do I already have SWAT knee pads? I do. We got neck armor. Put that on. Box of rubber shells. Might as well open it. Okay. Guns all jammed up. We have some SWAT fingerless Kevlar gloves, which we will wear. We have the key to this van. Let's put that on our key ring. And, oh, we have a little bit of fuel too. Nice. Let's pop the trunk. A SWAT helmet and SWAT knee pads, which I already have. I like the SWAT mod, but it just it adds way too many SWAT vehicles in my opinion. Okay, we have a horde coming. We're about for rounds 30. Okay, we've got 25 rounds left. Well, we might as well check the condition of our brand new SWAT vehicle. Oh yeah, it's in pretty damn good shape. One tire is 60 percentish, 57. All right, wow. And what do we got for trunk space? 66. And then it's got what, like four seats in it? One, two, three, four, five seats. Okay, not bad. We could fit a lot of gear into this thing. We'll just leave it for now. I don't have a whole lot of fuel for it. Okay, there's a few zombies coming. Get down. What am I at? Well, that's it. Yeah, I got like six rounds left in this gun. Got a key for this guy too. Oh, more rubber shells, yes. And the SWAT gas mask. I already have a SWAT gas mask, do I not? Yes. Okay, now I have 24 more rounds. Oh, we got a sprinter.
Another key? Are you kidding me? This one's got some fuel. Check the condition of this SWAT van. Uh, it's in okay shape, I guess. The engine's not that great. Could always use it if we need it. Anti-riot shotgun. How's my shotgun doing? Not bad. Are they the same? Short riot shotgun. It's probably got a bit more range to it. Try it out. <laughs> the guy just <laughs> he just wants to die. He doesn't want to get up. There's a few rounds left in it, but I'm kind of out of rounds for the for the shotgun, anyways. It's kind of hard to see what's going on over here. I'm worried I might get ambushed by some zombies. Rubber shells, we'll take my SWAT jacket. Oh yeah, let's take let's put that on. And then our military uniform. Uh, we'll just put it in our backpack for now. A police bag. I like police bags, let's take it. Alright, let's maybe switch to our machete. Oh, there's another zombie right here. I didn't even see him. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I broke down the fence right there. Oh, they're flooding in now. Whoa! Okay, gotta be careful. Let's just take a look over here. Okay. Just run out. Oh man, that zombie almost got me. Alright, I'll sneak around a bit. Try to be careful. Keep my eye out for sprinters. I don't know this area super well, so where we could go to find some food, I'm not too sure. We'll have to th maybe take a look around. I saw a diner, maybe I can get in the back way.
Okay, that's quite a few. Let's get out of here. Is that a sprinter? No. Can of corned beef, we'll take that. Oh! Sprinter trying to creep up on me. Everyone's trying to creep up on me, okay. There's some large trailers kicking around though, it's good to know. Can of sardines. I need a can opener, is what I need. Sneak in here. Yeah, this is that hotel area, and there wasn't much food in the actual rooms themselves. But. This is the kitchen. There should be some food left in here. Here we go. Potato. Yeah, stuff that I don't really want to take. Ham, we'll take that. Yeah, like frozen meat and stuff. I mean, if I had a fridge, I could take it, but I don't have a fridge. Potato. Because I could take the frying pan. And we could grab some, we could grab some of this meat. Let's grab the frozen stuff. And there's a bunch of zombies. Well, I'm getting drowsy. So let's head back to the base. Can I hop this section of the fence? I can. Nice. Maybe have a bit of a rest. Alright, well we found some food. It'll keep us going for a little bit. Clean the bridge up so we don't have to really worry about zombies anymore too much. Although there's a lot of vehicles on the road. It's going to be tough to actually drive down the road. Can maybe we use one of these vehicles to like smash other vehicles out of the way. I don't know if that's a good idea, but it's a possibility. I'm gonna have to find some gas. I still haven't found a gas can. Oh, it's midnight already? Okay. Let's go to sleep. Well, that is the end of episode 5, and if you guys aren't too busy working out in the gym getting swole, then leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.